Hey, it's Coach Jeremy here with Red Hawk Coaching. Hope you're having a great day. And today I want to talk to you about reframing challenges. So everybody has challenges. Some might be minute, some may be just big challenges. And yet we all have them. And instead of looking at them as challenges today, I want you to look at them as learning opportunities. I want you to shift your mindset to be a solution-based person as opposed to being a victim of the challenge. And so how do you do that? It's first of all, you gotta get clarity around it. Is it truly a challenge? I, I can't tell you the number of times I've been in coaching conversations and somebody brings up something that's a, a challenge in their life, really a learning opportunity, right? But they call it a challenge and we start discussing it. And at the end of the day, it really isn't anything. They, they've made a mountain out of a molehill. And so first get clarity around, is it really a challenge or is it not? Second, you're gonna start asking yourself questions. We're gonna look inside, because oftentimes we have the answer. As a coach, it's my job to help you unlock the answers that are already inside you. And so, and a lot of times that's because you just need confirmation, all right? So ask yourself questions, seeking the solution, and then look at the resources around you. What resources do you have available to you um, that may be able to help you find a solution uh, to that learning opportunity? Once you have that information, come up with the solution. It's a guess. We don't know if it's gonna work or not until you try it. I want you to take that solution, go to a trusted advisor, go to your spouse, go to a close friend, uh, go to your coach, and use them as a sounding board with the solution. Now, with all that information that you have, you're going to you're going to make another educated guess. You're going to say, this is going to be the solution. This is going to help me learn from this opportunity. And then you're going to go put it into action. You're going to get some sort of result. It may be the result that you want. It may not be the result that you want. Yet you're going to get a result, which gives you additional information now to go back, make a modification uh, to the solution that you came up with and then shift and pivot, whatever you need to do, and then try it again, put it back into action. And then you're gonna get a result, and then you can go back and refine again. And you're gonna do that until you've solved your problem, All right? Lastly is make sure you give yourself grace. You know, a lot of times we, you know, I'll talk to somebody and they're, they said, well, I kind of went through this process and I didn't get to the solution that I wanted and I just felt like I failed and, and the challenge became worse. Um, or, you know, I just, I'm, I'm not going to attempt it again because of the result that I received. Give yourself some grace. It's not going to work every single time. Yeah, you know, the most important thing is if it doesn't work, get it, try it again, right? That last part of the equation where you go and you refine and you refine and you refine and you refine. Give yourself some grace though. You're a human being. So I trust this helps you today. Stop looking at things as challenges. First of all, get clarity whether or not it's a challenge. Go through that process. We're going to look at things today as a learning opportunity. And when you start doing that, when you start being solution focused, man, things will change in your world. If you've got any questions on this or if I can help you in any way, please reach out to me. I'd love to have a conversation with you. Um, obviously, I offer one on one coaching and work with some of the top real estate agents in the country. So if you're looking at taking your business to that next level, and you, you see those challenges that might be in the way, let's talk about those and actually come up with some solutions to get you to where you want to be. So have a great day, and I look forward to connecting with you. Take care.